Oh, hi, Scott. Hi, Colin. What are you doing? Uh, just uh, editing some Danger Club podcast. Sorry, I can't stuff. talk right now. I'm listening to the Danger Club podcast. It's so good. Colin, isn't it? I am busy listening to the Danger Club but, podcast. But I just want to I tell you about time the new to talk episode. to you. I am, I, it's like my favorite thing at the moment. I don't get a lot of spare time. I need to listen to the Danger Club podcast. Well, why did you invite me around your house? I don't know. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. I was going to make you all a dwarven meal. You're falling out about the shards that you don't have anymore. Uh oh, fine. If we sleep here, Bodak will attack in the night. We won't get full night's sleep. We've all got doorstop sandwiches <laughs> on this lady's best china. <laughs> I'll make you a nice salted pork. Do you want to get this thing done or not? There is a trap door on the other side. Yeah, Come you on. stay up there. All right. An emaciated, shriveled hand reaching for the back of Velvet. Neck. The adventure continues now. I, something. Are we? Are we recording? Oh, Cole? we are. Oh, yeah. fabulous! Thank you. Oh, you gave me the dirtiest look there when I started. So it's because I know that you're. When you say we're rolling at the start, that's kind of your version of being like, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. That's like the bit before the beat drops. Right, that's right. Like yeah, your yeah, freestyle yeah. before the lyrics. Um, I something uh, something that for a few of us will be a, a huge sea change. I read. Um, I read in the media, the news media, uh, that has happened. Um, they have finally renamed Citadel Paints. Warhammer Paints have been renamed to reflect the actual colour that is in the pot. So they're now like called dark red, lighter red. Things like, rather than being called like evil skull yellow and like they all metal yeah oh. bolt gun metal why why yeah. have they changed them they they I, to basically just be able to so you could go in and just describe what color you want and you can just find it i think it's i don't know if they're using a pantone chart but the, the idea is to try and make it a little more simplified so gone are the kind of cryptic weird um grand national horse style names oh. on all of the paints <laughs> did quite like them to be honest but i, yeah, I, I haven't like bought them. anything from them in about 20 years so yeah, it's not really there why do they keep changing things You're yeah sorry, why, do, talking, why do they keep changing things yeah and also you can only be like can i get a sort of like light orange i mean do you mean ultramarine b- yeah blood orange well, no, or whatever. It be ultramarine. Like, it'd be ultramarine actually as i said i was like no that's ultramarines incorrect famously wear blue literally my brain policed yeah. me and like, that's why i might point out i was like ultramarine blue no no, that, that's yeah. why you collected space marines because some of those colors came in a spray can you could just be like that's my army done mm-hmm. couple of put some eyes on them and we are happy mm-hmm. cutting corners is the way to go hello everyone and welcome to the danger club podcast mm-hmm. 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 Do, you, um, do you remember when they changed gif to sif yeah uh, yeah, yeah i it ruined all of my painting as well <laughs> I, yeah, yeah 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 i do yeah. still dip into yeah. the old uh Sif. warhammer stuff every now and then um, yeah, do started, you still play a bit? No, uh, it's there. It's, uh, I started playing Total War Two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Warhammer yeah. Yeah. Two. Yeah, that was the mashup that we wanted for years, and they actually pulled it off. I'm yeah, told it's, it's really enjoyable. good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. quite enjoyable. But I do think every now and then, because obviously a few years back they did their new game, didn't they? The Age of Sigmar stuff, and they tried to depart with they. They sort of rounded off the old world stuff, which had been Warhammer for ages, and they gave it like a finished storyline. And were like, now it's the Age of Sigmar. And, basically everybody went no fuck off uh we're not doing that we're yeah. not doing we're gonna stick with the old world and i was like it's, it's an interesting arc because the old world uh, is based a lot on you know a fantasy tropes we've known for ages and b vaguely there's some like the empire is basically germany like yes you know there, there's, there's the Holy rec- roman empire yeah there's recognizable tropes in a lot of it like they base a lot of the norse raiders from chaos on like the vikings and stuff like that um it's just interesting that leap going to we've made a new one which is more general very high fantasy and like there's these fantasy marines and kind of orcs that jump between planes to fight each other and all these planes hover around each other and and it's it's just interesting the the, the transition of like where people go now i'm not fucking into that is it just liking the old thing which is obviously sci-fi and fantasy people do that a lot but is it also the fact that people the more general fantasy gets the less entertaining it becomes i think there's a definite especially with that franchise uh, you've just spent a small fortune a house worth on all of your miniatures and your army and your books and your templates and all that stuff and then they go ha nah that's all the old stuff you need to buy the new age of Sigma it's all different with the different and they really did try and do that uh, yeah. Which I'd be like, no. Also, the no. old. I think I think there's some of that, isn't it? Also, the the old books and the games and all the fluff that came around about the old world. Um, before you even get into the 40k stuff, it's all actually really dense and interesting. And the, all the stuff that seems to be coming out for the Sigma stuff these days is all. 
I just like it's all like mobile games and like it just seems a bit surface level it seems a bit like maybe they're trying to use that as a catch-all for like younger players to try and grow them into like the old grognards that buy all their stuff like on a regular basis I don't know well they they really they were really head of the game in the um uh, what's what's the thing called where you you don't um you slash the size of a product but not the price that's like a thing like every supermarket is doing oh, now. You yeah. go to open your chocolate bar and it's only a third of the length, but the packet's still the same. It's that kind of thing. That's kind of Age of Sigma. Is it's just kind of like, oh, it's skirmish based now. So your army is only, you only need about 20 models, but they're all big ones that cost 30 quid. Yeah. Like yeah. you need all of, rather than you can, rather than just like, here's 50 skeletons for a fiver. Yeah. It, you need, you need to get like all of these kind of uh, pricey ones. And, and I wonder if there's a generational thing because you've got kind of the people designing the games now would have been people who are playing them when we were kids and they were playing stuff like and the skirmish games back then were the best things that Games Workshop were producing Necromunda, yeah. Gorkamorka, Mordheim they were, yeah, they, were oh, they were sweet Gorkamorka I think is one of my favourite board games um, uh, just a glorious, glorious game do you still put any of you, Dangerlings, still play Warhammer? Because we don't fucking know what we're talking about. There's <laughs> definitely a few of you. you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's definitely a few. Yes. I don't know exactly how many. I know there's a couple of you that do that because you see, see some posts every now and then. And your stuff looks well painted and cool. Yeah. I mean, none of it is exciting as the uh, the new painting game that we discovered here in the studio, Propping yes. Open the Window. Um, Ross, what did you find uh, holding open the window here? Uh, it was a amazing gift that James had received for Secret Santa and it was paint your own Christmas rock paint your own Christmas yes. rock James explain yes well uh, here in the UK it's a great tradition that every year on, on Christmas Eve all the children and adults will gather together around the tree in the roaring fire and paint rocks <laughs> with various <laughs> sigils of Christmas <laughs> Your favourite, your favourite ho ho ho, uh, it's, you know, and, and all the stars and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, uh, or maybe, maybe it's actually a terrible idea. Who wants to paint rocks? Who? Are? And then what I loved, I, I've had this since Christmas, obviously. Yep. Um, I thought that's the perfect thing to prop up the door. I tried to give it away to my housemates, they don't want it. Yep. Um, however, upon opening the box, which I'd never actually got so far, the three of us was like, Ross, like, oh, these are good rocks. They're really tactile. And then we, had, yeah. we genuinely did pass the rock between us. Go, mmm, that's a good <laughs> rock. <laughs> good old rock. <laughs> they are good rocks. I love that rock. I've never felt more like an otter than when I was just <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's a good, a good rock. rock. Yeah. <laughs> like, crack <laughs> open a few clams with that one. Really? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's amazing. They'll cash it with anything these days. So there we go. This is, this is the kind of treats that we have here in the studio now. We have a collection of... So if, if this episode <laughs> runs a bit short, it's because we've all run off to... Paint rocks. rocks. Well, it's, a, like, it's a shame they never had like an artificial army in Warhammer because it could just be like a bunch of pebbles, couldn't it? It's like, no, they're all stone golems, mate. Just, <laughs> they're, they're, he's, not, he's not very good, so they haven't got arms or legs or heads or anything like that. Just a little face on a pebble. Um, yeah, you, you don't want to do They can't monetize that, can they? You don't want to do that. They can't extract loads of money out of you if you can find your own rocks for armies, That's eh? That's true. That's I, true. I bet you, though, that someone from uh, someone from Games Workshop has had a little look at that product of paint your own rocks and been like, <laughs> mm, paintable collectibles. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I might get the lawyers you. on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the Emperor's Rocks. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing I found interesting about, sorry, go back to Warhammer, is there was the business model of them basing all their stuff on Tolkien and fantasy tropes for ages and ages. Then when the Lord of the Rings films came out, they got the license from the Tolkien estate to supply miniatures of the Lord of the Rings, which is a whole other war game. Got people very interested. And then a few years after that, I think the Tolkien estate threatened to sue them, so they had to release Age of Sigmar because it had a load of non-copyrightable uh, armies and names in it because it didn't sound anything like... Oh, just imagine being Games Workshop there and being like, yeah, we're friends with Tolkien. Yeah. <laughs> they love us, they love us. They're suing us. Oh. It, it nearly, <laughs> it's what nearly stuffed them because they basically put all of their eggs in the Lord of the Rings basket. It made it their biggest game, made a fortune from it, and then lost the license and then realised they hadn't kept up their other properties. And then thankfully... Italy. There was a global pandemic and everyone had to sit indoors painting miniatures for a year. So <laughs> they did very, very nicely off the back of that. Uh, Dangerlings, you won't hear that, but there was a big noise on my computer there, so don't worry about it. It sounded like a little, it was like right. a little jolly I thought, toot. I thought it was the uh, the email bouncing in from <laughs> yeah. Warhammer yeah. to to a media lawsuit. Yeah. No. Sorry, Sorry, I just, you've been mentioning it just one one too many <laughs> yeah, times. Right, yeah, so yeah. If you check your license agreement, yeah, 
yeah, so I just compressed down. the file uh, oh, because I, see. I, 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 I don't know much about Warhammer <laughs> and I forgot <laughs> I forgot that it makes a sound when it finishes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the entire yeah. if you compressing that file is the entire podcast. Now sound that we're talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, just to wrap up the Warhammer conversation, uh, Scott, you did mention the games. If you are interested, you didn't want to spend a butt ton, like you can pick them up quite cheap now, and they are very good. What the Total War game? I don't think they're that cheap on Steam. No, mate. no, they. They come around on sale quite a lot. Yeah, it's they surprising. pop up for they, a little they, while. And they it'd grab them cheap. And the, one of the coolest things I was going to mention about them, if you didn't know, if you get all three, you can link them together into oh. a massive yeah. mega grand map of yeah, campaign they, they, maps. They have, that is a cool idea, but they do paint it. Whenever I open up World War, uh, World War Two, uh, Total War Two, <laughs> Don't, Warhammer, don't that's got. They're like, do you want to play the Mortal Empires campaign? I'm like, yeah, fucking that would sound sick, as opposed to this other Vortex time limit stuff that I have to do every campaign. Can I play on that? Like, you have to buy the first game to do that. I'm like, all right, well, at least you put it on sale, or is there a discount now that I bought this game? No, it's still 40 pounds. Fuck you then, I'm not doing that. 40 pounds, oh God. It's 40 quid for like the first one, it's like 50 quid for the second one. I'm sure the third one's out is like 60 quid. I'm like, yes, yeah, so once I've spent like 100, 150 pounds doing this, then yeah, I can play all three games together, sure. Yeah, definitely wait for other ones. Yeah, wait, you, wait you for the pick up. summer sale or Christmas Steam sale, there'll be a bundle deal. You better get yeah. all of them for a little bit. Just do not play historical um, strategy games with James because he is a meanie. No, I'm not a meanie. <laughs> You were just, <laughs> you were just lame. I was just very, I'm just very bad. I, at them. I geared myself up to fight the mighty shadow play empire that was Dan Thompson, and found it was utter paper. He was just, he was like, what? Why? Why were your cities? He was. Oh, I didn't bother with cities. Uh, where, where are your armies? Well, they were scattered about. He had battleships, and I had horsemen. <laughs> He took one arrows. of my cities. I was like, right, that's it. This war, Clash of Titans, and I just obliterated it so easily. It was like, like literally, like snuffing out a net. Oh, Talking well. about obliteration, that's what's going to happen to you right now, Velda. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks very Yay. much. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> to grim Shot them in over there. James's face. I'm yeah. very happy. Thank you for that. That was right nice. <laughs> uh, so speaking of such things, yes, you're in the basement of the lumber mill. You came in, you had a little look around, you went down the basement, um, you had a look around, you found lots of wood and lots of supplies, things like this. It's a well-stocked place, but unfortunately, um, something was waiting for you to go in there and has been following you in. Damn. Now, we fought a Bodak before. We fought a Bodak a couple of weeks ago, and things went relatively well. So we've got a few ideas now, but also, some of you are still quite badly hurt from... You haven't fully recovered. Not having Shania is really, uh, yeah. really kicking in at the moment. Actually, maybe we'll do some little cutaways of Shania and Gumbo having a lovely flight together. <laughs> well, all this Would is you like some up. more tea? <laughs> 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 They've just got all those stuffed animals sat around there having little tea parties. <laughs> um, yeah. But we have a Bodak, and this time you're in a confined space and you're underground. Oh, wonder Going how it will go. You know, I know exactly. This is going to go. The fucking thing's going to fall off the ladder and land on its head and break <laughs> its neck after all of this. But, but God's willing, it'll be more interesting. We'll find out. Are we ready to go, heroes? Yeah. yeah. That's go because we're going anyway. Roll for initiative. Scouts warning. Phil, there's something on your neck. Nice. Get a plus one. Yeah, let's get a plus one. Oh, well, I need it. Twenty-four for Valdor. Twenty-nine. With the plus one, it's twenty-four for Valdor. Ooh. Uh, well. Can I go first to get away from it? Thanks, mate. No, because that's one. Twenty-four <laughs> for <laughs> Fulton. Twenty-four as well. Oh right. Yes. Okay. Can I go first? Oh, okay. Let's get a, uh, a three. Uh, sorry, Caragol. What did you get? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice and specific. So we have twenty-fours for. <laughs> Felder, Bubba, and Fulton. Right. Can who's I just hang on. That, that hasn't happened for a long time, if ever. You, three three people of us getting the same, the yeah, same yeah. initiative yeah. score, and you have some wildly different scores as oh, well. We I think. Like, yeah. what, what did everyone get on? What did you get on your die? I rolled a nine, and with plus one for Scouts warning, that's plus so fourteen. You got, so you got a nine, eleven, an eleven, and Ross. What did you get on the die? Uh, uh, well, oh, oh. Doesn't matter. Oh God! Oh God! I'm so Dude. sad. I asked. <laughs> you rolled. D just, you've already eight. rolled it. Eight. Right, okay. So they weren't huge rolls, but they're still pretty big. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. Let's get an order then. Who is going? Uh, Velda, you wanted to go first. No, Bubba's going first. 
Bubba's going first. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're sticking to it. <laughs> he might die. I and you're might sticking die. to it. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, Velda. No, no, it's all right. No, 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 no you no, said no, it now. You said it now. You said it now. Bubba's going first. <laughs> Velda goes second. <laughs> I, always, I always think it's really weird that it's the one area where Pathfinder just lets you figure it out for yourself. It's a, it's a game that is so specific of being like, no, this means this and this means this and this means. And if you get on, on, on initiative, it's just like, no, nah, players just decide. Let's, t- let's do it fairly, actually. There are three of us have a little roll, whoever gets the highest. And da, 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 da. Let's okay. do it like that because that's, that's not right. nice of me. All to three of you roll it. All three of you roll a d20. There we go. I've got a two, so. I've got a seven. Big numbers here, guys. Because no, it's actually five. Been... There oh, you go. Oh, well, the does go first. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Screaming in with my that seven. Amazing. That was a fair way to do it. Lucky it? number seven. That's Lucky number seven. That's yeah. hilarious. Okay, right. I'm Sean Connery. I'm Sean Connery. Hello. You have to do that. Like. I'm Sean Connery. Uh, lucky number seven. <laughs> I might also be Michael Palin. Who knows? <laughs> 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 All right. Perhaps. Chucky Monster. Day Medna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Hello, I yeah. could be anyone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dan Thompson. <laughs> the first Can person. All right. The first person to act is Mr. Bodak. <gasps> oh, no. There's been two of them, and I wanted to track them. They have just one initiative tracker for the whole, for this record. So it's Mr. and Mrs. Bodak. <laughs> Can you have this so one, shabby. like, coming in on a on a horse yeah Man. that would make naming the episode so much easier wouldn't it yeah <laughs> oh it turns out he was actually a centaur <laughs> and then got turned into a no you uh, have to be riding a horse the look that Scott I know he could be a centaur me. yeah Bodak Horseman Bodak Horseman yeah. there we go yeah. Yeah. we did that in the last episode I know but yeah the look Scott just gave me <laughs> I like it, it's now spread to the Discord where someone was like, so what is this thing about Bodak Horseman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems to get, have yeah. this undercurrent. And I was, I was about to answer him and I was like, I don't accurately know well enough. It's got too many layers. Yeah, so someone else is like, Connery likes it, Scott really doesn't. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> Scott, yeah. Okay, right. Mr. Me. Bodak. Um, Mr. Bodak is going to... <laughs> 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 Unless this one's a detective, then he could be Kojak. Oh, yeah. that are nice. Who Kodak. trains your baby? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if he could takes good pictures of you, he could just be called Kodak. Okay, yo, yeah. Yeah. Getting a bit quite so vague good. now. I'm surprised we've come up with this many, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, well, what's the speed? Oh, yeah, I can just If you play it. tennis. Yeah. Novak. Novak. It's good. <laughs> yeah. French. If it's, could be Bouzak. If it sprays in your face, blowback. That means it's a drug reference. That is no, it's not. Hot. Is it now we're over eighteen? I mean, it like because <laughs> of you. <laughs> Only now. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. blowbacks, blowbacks. You put a spliff in your mouth and a spliff. <laughs> <laughs> Such an old word. Uh, yeah, you put a, a joint in your mouth. Jazz and cigarettes. You, and you blow yeah. through it. And it blows the smoke to someone's face. Yeah, that's one so use blow of the term back. blowback. It's not the only use of the term blowback. All right, so blowback sportsman <laughs> uh, he, he <laughs> comes leering in through the uh, through the trap door. First thing it's going to do um, is it fixes its eyes on the back of Velda's head, and Velda, pretty sure enough, um, your. F- um, your fears were right. You don't need to meet its gaze. It's not like a basilisk. It just has to be able to sense you and it can start draining and when you feel your life essence begin to wilt away, give me a fortitude save, sir. Oh, and I just want to point out at this juncture that this is the worst of all my stats. So here we go. It's about to get a whole lot it's worse. It's about to get a whole lot worse. And it Ooh. is. Yep, that's poor. It's a 20. That's a dirty 20. A dirty 20. Aren't you it? Don't you take a penalty to constitution saving throws as well? Oh, no, this is uh, No, no, because I'm no longer drained. No yeah, longer. okay, cool. That's just me. But I will be now. <laughs> I will yeah. be now. Oh, yeah, you're about to be hella, hella drained. Um, so, fortunately, that's not a crit fail. Because as we've established, the crit fail is awful. Is awful. Um, you are doomed one, and you are drained two. Oh, so, drained. you go ahead, you immediately lose uh, 16 hit points. Uh, and you have minus two to your fortitude saves and you will now die at dying (laughs) and now you will die you will not die Uh, you will die at dying three so it climbs so literally just head first it just climbs down um, hands first feet after it down the ladder um, until it gets to the floor like the grudge like yeah and then when it gets to the bottom 
it rises up behind Velda standing over him. Looking at it, you can see that it has, uh, you can see again, it's light, it's male, it's wearing rags by this point, it's been dragged through the woods so much. Uh, its flesh is just taut completely to its bones. It's not just the face, this one is clearly older, it's been a bodak for longer. Uh, and all of its flesh is just sunken straight onto the skeleton. Uh, tight to it. Uh, the face is all shrunken down and the eyes are wide open and blazing. You can see it has a mark around its neck um, and you can see there seems to be a, uh, there is some kind of a brand um, in its forehead. You, there's a symbol of some sort but it's quite hard while it's moving around to really look at what that is but it seems to have been branded with some kind of um, a logo, some kind of an icon. Um, that is its go as it stands up right behind Velda. Is it an Apple logo? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> the new iPhone. Yep, it's the it's iBodak. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's its go. It's uh, that's all. Uh, that's all it can do. Caragor, it's your go. Oh fuck! Um, hunt prey. How far am I away from it? Uh, so you are. Um, you are about 35 feet from it. Perfect. And stay right where I am. Hunt prey. Okay. And I'm going to lose three arrows, please. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Two arrows. Two right. arrows, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, give me a give me an occultism just to... Oh. Uh, wait. Have I got... No, no. It's just a tear in my sheet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I had 15. It's only five. Oh. Uh, so 23. 23. Okay, don't worry about it. It just occurred to me. Just occurred to me. You should all have been getting, I think, I think plus one to hit against the, um, the, you know, for ages we've been like, one day, one day Caragor will crit with Monster Hunter and it'll be the greatest thing. And then two games ago you did. Oh, uh, which would have. So that it, on a crit with Monster Hunter, it gives the entire party plus one to hit. Oh, oh sick. I'll switched. just take that now then instead, uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a shame no. to lose it, wouldn't it? Sadly, <laughs> sadly not. Next time. I don't know if it would have stacked with all the buffs that Bubble was doing anyway. But there we go. There we go. It was one to do. So, probably uh, would. Um, it prob oh, it probably would. Oh, well, yeah. it's, Colin mm. says so. So. <laughs> so it must be true. I'm the second DM here, so yeah, yeah. that's the. Uh, <laughs> you're very much the very positive DM here. Yeah, yeah, everything's yeah, fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. Shit, James, I blame that on you because it hit your dice and oh, it's stupid. James, oh, well done, James. I accept James. full responsibility. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a twenty-two. A, a twenty-two ain't gonna do 23, it. Twenty-three, actually. Sorry, oh, it's a twenty-three. That still ain't gonna do it. All right. Well, I think you'll find, uh, Mister, on this roll that I will get a lot more. Oh, but it's minus five. Minus five. So it's twenty-five. Twenty-five. It still doesn't do it. Unfortunately, Velda's just blocking your shot. Get the just like his dice is blocking your dice. Get the out the fucking way, <laughs> stupid <laughs> wizard. Velda's just trying to get out of the way, and arrows are just flying past him as he does. Um, all right, that was Karagor's go. No damage dealt. Velda, it's now your go. Right. Uh, right. I would. Am I actually? I'm in full combat. Oh yeah, you are. It yeah. is. It yeah. is right next to you. Yeah. It could reach out and touch face. Just oh. windy step out the way. Just blippy, blippy spell, spell hop out the way. Yeah. You, have you rerolled as a sylph yet? Um, no, we need to sit down. Well, actually, no, because I looked through the template. It's not there. Absolutely there. No, but it's not there on Pathfinder. Path. You go. Uh, anyway, anyway, we'll sort that out again okay. another time. Um, I I when it came up fast. Like, have I missed that? But no, self is not listed as one of the races oh. archetypes. Oh. Anyway, uh, I am going to. Yes. I'd like to take a. F -f -f flip an egg. Hmm. I think. Yes. Because he's a five foot step. Yes. yes. Um, I'm going to have to. I'm afraid this first turn, I'm going to take a five foot step and I'm going to use the rest of my move actions to withdraw to uh, as far away from that thing as I can behind other people. Okay, you go um, to. Just because I'm. Yeah, it's such a really bad place. Okay, so you move. Ah, do that. Where did you come from? What's your movement? The uh, the room is um, the room is fifty feet to get right to the other end of it. So my move is. Oh, 
<laughs> for the, while James is looking that up, for, the, for the listeners at home, uh, sylph is a heritage that you can take to attach to any other ancestry. So to make a sylph, uh, you take the human or whatever base ancestry you want, then you take the sylph heritage, then you get your sylph beats. That's how you do that. It's on Path Builder at the moment. Path Builder, we love you. You're a great app. Uh, okay. It's versatile heritage. Uh, right. Um, I can't find my move speed anywhere on this. I presume it's, it's same probably, 25. probably 25. Probably 25. Unless 25, you've taken yeah. anything to give it a bonus. Um, oh, have you just found it on Path Builder? It'll be 25. Yeah. We're all looking at the. Oh, we're all looking at. Uh, yeah, was there was a moment as soon as you said it's just not on Path Builder. Three yeah, of us picked up yeah. our phones. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Just <laughs> to <laughs> prove you wrong. Because I was looking at uncommon uh, race. race You're looking at ancestries rather than heritages. Yeah. Nah, it's not a dumb thing to do. Uh, we're a um, bunch of dickheads for I, that. Yeah, let's say 25. Let's uh, say 25. 25. I can't okay, find it anywhere. That makes sense. 25 sounds right. If your base if your base is human, you'd be 25, so you would move. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you could use two move actions to get right to the far wall away from it, uh, and then you'll have one action left if you like. Uh, yes. Okay. I will do that. All right. It's going to use its reaction to stare at you again. Um, okay. So give me another fortitude save. It's just really staring at uh, that is unfortunately because I've, I've taken a, a negative to my fortune yeah. now. That's a t- twenty-three. A twenty-three beats it because the uh, the reaction version is weaker. So yep, yeah. you're okay. Okay, good, beats. good. You good. <laughs> you managed to shrug. Ugh. You're well, kind of just bloody just horrible, shitty. Just a Run away from the horrible, I'm horrible to look thing. Like oh. <laughs> um, and then. Hmm. Well, I'm going to cast shield. It's a bit <laughs> pointless, but it used an action. It looks quite cool. It's like, uh, cast a shield. You run away and cast a shield. Yes, because that's... there's nothing else I can do, Dangerlings, no. with one action. So uh, I don't really care about the shield. It's not going to be much use, but it's just for flavor. It's not the worst thing to do. Fulton Battlestone. So you are... Um, you are halfway into the room because you were looking around. You were searching for everything. Yeah. Um, I think it is fair. Probably, I think it's probably fair because we don't exactly know how far into the room. Um, give me a roll. Me a roll. Me a die. Odds, it's two move actions to get to where the bodek is. Um, evens, it's one move action. Ten. Ten. So evens, it's one move action. You are only halfway into the room when the creature appears. Yeah. So you can get to move it. over. You're twenty feet away from And it. I'll do. A, I'll go. Stay away from my necromancer. And I hit him with my furious focus. Okay. You come steaming in. Furious focus. Natural one. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's for calling me a necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, allow me to hand you this fumble card, sir. Okay. Uh, oh no, it's not that bad. Okay. Okay. Butterfingers, you drop your weapon <laughs> you made with the attack. Oh, with the attack with. There we go. That's it. Oh dear. I just can't go over and I go. And- oh sh- the, the grease from the, the <laughs> pork sandwich. Oh, it's all sticky. That's oh, why no. I wipe mine off on my kill oh, before we start the fight. It. And uh, and as is tradition, we now go for MZ's reaction to his bacon greased axe being dropped on the floor. Oh, for, for goodness sake, Jesus, my my tulips <laughs> all crushed. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. What, what's going on? You sit on my tulips. Oh, what happened to him? My what owner keeps dropping my bloody... Oh. T- Oi, Fulton! Stop yeah. dropping me! Sorry! Bloody it's Fulton. Why does it smell of bacon in here? <laughs> <laughs> and the axe crashes to the floor. Fulton, oh dear. Um, we now go to Baba Von Hoops. Baba Von Hoops. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna cast this uh, this cantrip again because I think it was, it was quite good last time. The dirge. Dirge of doom. Dirge, dirge of, of doom. doom. No, just provide me. It's a dirge one-action verbal spell. There we go. Dirge doom done. Okay. okay. Then I'll do uh, some magic missiles for my second two, so actions. two actions. And I've already rolled, I believe, the damage Lovely. I did this time. So it was five plus four, which is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points of damage. Well, that ain't nothing. Frightened and a bit of damage. 
That's pretty good. So he's at minus one. Minus one to his AC, minus one to uh, his attack rolls and his saves and, and everything, basically, uh, while he is Ooh. within that area. Um, am I confusing frightened and sick of danger links? Am I, 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 can, I, I just, I can hear your, head, your, your words in my head. Let me just give it a quick reread. Frightened. Take a status penalty equal to you uh, to value. So all checks and DCs. No, it is exactly the same as sick, and it just goes away easier. Okay, except when someone's singing a dirge of doom. So we worked out dirge of doom because it, it's a cantrip. You can recast it every turn if you want to, to keep it going, but you just can't have that and your other song going at the same time. Beautiful. So the dirge of doom. You're singing a song of doom. Uh, dare I ask what it sounds like? <laughs> It's like Damien Rice. It? No, it's Michael Palin's <laughs> new single. It's, uh... <laughs> I've got a touch of doom. I've got a touch of doom. Yeah, he's like that. Oh, no. Nice. In the corner, just <laughs> weeping away. <laughs> oh, fan. Fantastic. Um, and uh, you know what? We rolled it for Fulton, so it's fair to roll it for you. Uh, yep. Can you roll a die? Um, odds, you are 20 feet from it. Uh, evens, you are be more than 20 feet from it. Odds are evens. Odds. Odds. So you are 20 feet. You're halfway across. You are halfway across the room when the thing appeared uh, next to cool. Fulton. So it's uh, it's a little closer to you. Okay. Should have moved. Possibly, but you've still the thing's still got Fulton in the way. So it's... Uh, it, it is possible that you can get past it. So we come back around to round two. It's the Bodax go. Bodak has a Godak, uh, and he uses two <laughs> move Dax uh, to <laughs> to use his death gaze on Fulton. Let's have a fortitude save, Fulton. Uh, with your weakened fortitude from the fight yesterday. Let's see if we can get you. Twenty-one. Twenty-one's a fail. Uh, you are now doomed one, and increase your drained value by two, please. Drain can keep on going up. I think it's stop. I think it's got a max of four, but we'll we'll figure that one out. Um. All right. Oh, they 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 get again now. Are you feeling drained, Fulton? Yeah, I've been drained. Oh. <laughs> what did you, you? It was twenty-one. Did you roll? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That still would even with the fright, that still would have got it. Um, still would have been a fail. Okay, then it's going to try and hit you, and it fails. That's a nineteen total. Um, it's not enough. To, it's an, actually it's an eighteen total. Um, it does not hit you. Uh, it just slash it lashes out at you. But uh, oh, my bones! <laughs> your, your bones may be old, but your armor is sturdy, and it doesn't get through the attack. <laughs> Caragor One Fang, it's your go. Uh, I've launched three arrows. Flurry of arrows. Flurry of arrows. Pre-rolled. I got thirty-one on the first one. A thirty-one is going to be a hit. Got a twenty on the next one. A twenty is going to be a miss. And an eighteen on the third. An eighteen is going to be a miss. So one hit. Cool. Have we, have we got any bonuses flying around at the moment? No. No. It's got penalties. You don't have any bonuses. Cool. Uh, that would be a 12 total damage. 12 damage. That's not bad. Okay. And the arrow flies over Fulton's head and hits the creature. Uh, it keeps on coming, oh. though. Oh. 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 Uh, it is um, the creature starts hissing out, Oh, traitor, unfaithful. Um, That's not very nice. Sounds like it's doing character shit. <laughs> 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 Quick, get the cozy cabin up. Let's turn this into a role play encounter. <laughs> yeah. Talk about your feelings. <laughs> oh, Velda. Uh, right, so Velda, safe at the back, or safe-ish, uh, is going to, uh, he's going to start, like he did before, he sort of like gestures, Holds up his fist, brings it down in a familiar sudden bolt. It's you know, sudden that bolt, that little... sudden bolt time. Uh, it, you roll to hit, or it, it is a basic reflex. It makes its reflex, <laughs> and the reflex is lower because it's frightened. Oh. But it still rolls a nineteen on the die, uh, which makes that a uh, twenty. That makes that a thirty-two. Uh, that is a success. Um, but I believe it's the second half 
It'll be half damage. Damage, yeah, half damage. We're, we're looking at half damage here. We're looking at half damage. Again, I did think these things would have pretty good uh, reflexes. Pretty. Uh, a 60. Oh, the damage. Uh, that's 24, so round it down. That's 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. Boom. Damn it. Deafening blast of lightning, but yeah, you just can't get the angle right on no, it. No, can't get the angle properly. right. <laughs> uh, what are you doing with that final action? Um, with the final action, hmm. I'd like to. Uh, well, I might as well just keep the shield going. Shields up. <laughs> Red alert. Fought in Battlestone. Pick up the fucking ass. <laughs> you bend down. <laughs> You pick up the axe. Uh, it reacts to the start of your go and stares at you again. Give me a forge, you say. 18. 18. That's a fail. Uh, please increase your uh, please increase your drained value by one. Uh, and it heals some hit points. I feel it bought me. You really what? I really burned no. <laughs> you burned what? <laughs> I can't hear you. Who's Gary? <laughs> You're all feeling old and craving shortbread. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right. now now you pick up the axe. Uh, and then I use furious focus. Oh, all right. Is it furious focus or is it more like peeved focus? Yeah, now? yeah. <laughs> just uh, That's 37. <laughs> He's seven to critical hit. Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you nail him with letter to the Daily Telegraph focused. Uh, this is going to be one impotent rage. <laughs> 43. 43 points of damage. <laughs> you reach down, pick the axe up, and just swing it up off the ground and hit the creature. Still got it. <gasps> You've still got it, Fulton. Uh, uh, yeah. Has anybody got any sharp bread? No. Stay uh, right where you are. You get to northern when you get. <laughs> <laughs> when you get old, I don't know why. <laughs> Go down country. Everybody gets northern when they're old. Go move out of that London, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. And Scotland, they go down. <laughs> It's it no. It staggers backwards as you slash through, uh, leaving ragged ribbons of skin hanging off its bones. Uh, it's it just it hisses back at you. Betrayed me, handed me over to them, loved you. I'm do It's doing the old man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the yeah. Modak voice now. I know, just they, they all betray oh, you in the end. No. So oh, they they never come to visit. Back in my day. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you uh, remember Freddo's? He's <laughs> <laughs> got 10 p. Oh, bubs. All right, he's going to back up a bit. Yep. All right, use an action to back up. Lose my action to back up. Uh, and then Oh, there's actually another five because uh, in double the last... Another the five? Third, okay. The third D12. Cool. Sorry. No problem. It doesn't give you an extra dice for that. Uh, so, sorry, uh, sorry, yeah. sorry. sorry. Uh, it's giving you some I'll more continue bell. this. You continue the dirge, so you have one action left. Uh, which I can fire two missiles. Two missiles. And there's ten points of damage. I rolled uh, highest damage I can with those two. Pew, so there pew. we go. Very nice. I like that round numbers. Easy to easy to note that down. Yeah. As you blast it a couple more times, we come back around to the top of the round. It's still alive, and it is Mr. Bodax. Go. Um, how are you looking, Fulton? You feeling? Feeling good? And I'm feeling yeah. good. <laughs> Find me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 77 hit points. Oh, you'll live forever. Out of a 98. It's, um... At least I can't go drained anymore. That's true. That is, uh... That is true. Uh, I assume. Does drain have a maximum? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I mean, you can put more levels on it. On oh, um, there's nothing in the rules that says it's, uh... It says there's a maximum to it. So currently you're at drained four. Yeah. So if you get hit zero hit points, you're dead. Uh, no, that's doomed. Do uh, doomed, right, of course. Um, okay, well, it's going to start off. 
Sorry, Dangerlings, this is a uh, this is incredibly <laughs> smart. This is incredibly boring for you. Um, this is the stuff that some people tune in for you. They, they tune in just for the thought process. Yeah. yeah. Who? Name three of those people. John in Australia. Hey, John in Australia. Hey, John. Thanks for tuning in. Cyril in... The Evergreen Forest. The s- where he is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cyril, yeah, Cyril. Cyril, 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 Cyril Sneer. Top yeah. tier dangling. Yeah. Cyril Sneer loves, loves rules content. Oh, God, and then I love listening to the rules. Boris, yeah, who Boris. used to live in Oxbridge. I believe... I, I believe, and tell me if I'm wrong, Dangerlings, I believe Drained has a max has a max value of four. I don't think you can be a, go beyond that, uh, which means it's going to be looking for somebody else with its eyes. Uh, but it is, however, going to punch Fulton. So let's just get that out of the way. It's not the greatest yes, roll. It's a uh, hit. 20, it's a 30. Yes, that's a hit. Oh. Thank you, roll. Thank you, nine. All right, well. Well, then have a lovely... I'm really enjoying rolling physical dice. Well, uh, less so now I've rolled that terrible number. <laughs> um, so that's going to be 13 points of bludgeoning and one point of negative. So it hits you. Oh! Six, but a couple of ones. That's annoying. And then it's going to look for someone else to drain. Um, ooh, ooh, it just can't decide. It can't decide. It's going to roll for it. Um... So I already got my dice ready. All right, get that die ready. Make a very important uh, fortitude save. And I am you are drained. drained. I would imagine three. I think three probably, probably because you lost one from the night sleep. So it means I subtract three from this roll. Uh, just subtract three from this roll. Yeah. We'd we'll be pleased to know that seven plus twelve is nineteen. Nineteen. Fail. Okay, that no, is. That's why I said to be pleased to know. It's, not a yeah. it's a fail. It's not a crit fail. Drain condition increases by two, but you're already at three, so it goes up to four, uh, and oh. you are doomed one. Oh. That could have been worse. I don't know, it doesn't feel like it could have been worse. <laughs> you're doomed. What did you say? I feel like Velda. I can't hear you. Can you say it louder? Oh, oh my uh. eyes have gone milky. <laughs> That's all it can do. It hasn't got any move left. Karagor, it is your go. Uh, I, I, I pre rolled again. All right, we'll be doing three arrows. Yep. All right. I got down the first roll I got was 35. Thir- That's a crit. 35. Uh, that is not quite a crit. For fuck's sake. It would be close. W- if, if Fulton were not in the way, it would be one away from a crit. But it's, it's got cover from Fulton as well. But it's, it's definitely a hit. Uh, it's 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Very nice. What about the... Uh, uh, the next two I rolled were 18 and 16, respectively. Don't worry about those. Let's no, not I'm worry. not going. Let's not gonna. worry about those at all. Cross those arrows off my inventory. Send another volley of arrows whistling. Whist- I can never say what the noise arrows make. Whistling. Whistling, whistling. past Fulton. Whistling. Slamming whistling. into. Whistling. Whistling. <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> arrows Whish. covering the wall <laughs> by this ladder. Yeah, right. <laughs> Brrr. Brrr. the whistling of the arrows. <laughs> um, but a couple of them have found their mark as we go to Velda Campbellite. Uh, Velda wants to move round tentatively, so he's got a clear line of sight to the target. Okay. And then uh, he sort of does a little jump in the air, and everything goes very anime. It goes... <laughs> and he goes, mm, chromatic ray! And fires his chromatic ray. Uh, it is a roll to hit. Now, okay, you might remember last time, Dangerlings, I did not succeed in this roll to hit. So. Come on. This time, this is the one. It's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. It's that is a 29. Way. 29 is a hit. Oh, yeah. the ray shoots out. And the ray is, I'm going to roll a d4 here because it's a slightly randomized effect. It's oh, just nice. an old guy called Ray. It is. It is the one I was hoping for. A yellow ray shoots <laughs> out of Velda's chest. And Fulton did one slams. of those. Fulton did one of those. He did, he did. However, this one is distinctly more powerful. A yellow ray shoots out of his, uh, actually out of his hands. He holds his fists in front of him like mm. a true 1980s kids cartoon style. And a yellow ray crackling with electricity does an automatic 50 points of damage Fuck to yeah. that target. Oh. What kind of damage? Uh, it is electricity damage. Electricity though. damage, that is fine. 50 S- points. 50 straight up slams Jeez. into him. And was it going on? Like the winds whipping and the <laughs> background's all like anime. It's like... Ugh! And then lands down sort of and just blows in his smoking fist. Whoa. <laughs> Not that, bitch. 
<laughs> the creature is just like blasted back into the into the ladder um, before staggering back forwards again with just scorched uh, chest. So glad that pulled off because I absolutely really, battered. I, I wanted to use that, and I, the last time I used it, it's like yeah, and I missed. And there's nothing. It's just like. Ah. Uh, Fulton, can we close it out? I've already rolled it. It's a 32 on my Furious Focus. 32 is a hit with the Furious Focus. Yeah, Come on, old buddy. man. You've got this. 23 points of Damaginio. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, hold 23 on. points of Damaginio. It's 2d12, right? Uh, is it 3d12? No, it's an extra. It's, it's only 3d12 if you crit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's 2d12 normally. No, it, no, with the Furious Focus, it's 3d12 because you add the because it's 2d12 normally and you add the d12 for doing the oh, Furious Focus. I've not added the fucking extra three. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I rolled a damage of. So go ahead and roll another d12. So um, the bonus damage is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh god, oh god, oh kill me, oh kill me. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Hans Gruber. Uh, uh, it is uh, 23 plus 6. That'd be 20. All right, chipmunk. 29. 29. 29 points of damage. 29 points of damage. Tell me how you kill the Bodak. Uh, yeah. After uh, Velda has blasted it with the electricity hands, I um, it's sort of shaking and I bring my axe up and just down on its head and just bury it deep into its you skull. Slam it between the thing and you see both the eyes, the smoke just dissipates from the eyes. I suck uh, the smoke. <laughs> That's increasing. That's some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you give it some blowback and it falls to the floor twitching it, and Jack blowback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, uh, we did it! We did it! Well that done, gentlemen. Right. Yes, very good, very good. Oh, um, well drained. I thought you want to go for another sleep for only about two hours. But I d- <laughs> do, you know, do you know what? I, I, we have to get out of here. Was that, I, I don't think I can be bothered to climb out. Are we out this trapped center. in a Sisyphean task of just going to bed, waking up, fighting a Bodak, <laughs> going to bed? <laughs> are we? Uh, is this who we are now? <laughs> is that? Is that all of the? Is that all the, the Bodak Club? Oh, wait, let me just count. Mm. How the fuck should we know? I, I think so. Because that one was, all was a bit touchy of your face. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've been drained twice in two days. I've been oh, drained twice in two days, have you? Oh, been drained twice in two days, have you? Oh, what's that like? Oh, do tell me, Velder. It must be bloody awful for you. And look at the veins pumping through your papery skin. God. Don't get so worked up. No, no, no. It's not so good for me. Huh? Why are you acting so old, man? Like, I feel great. You were only 13 when you got trained. Uh, 30! <laughs> Am I going to have a birthday party soon? No. Can you see all my feathers are turning blue? Look we don't this. want to be reminded of your youth. <laughs> Touch me. Feel my youth. No. You old people. No. I know it helps you. I Feel want my to young feathers. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I want to put my programmes on. Your stories. You want to watch your stories? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got some chamomile tea? Nah. Oh. I'm gonna move into that manor around corner. <laughs> what with the guardians in it? Yeah, and the dead lady outside. <laughs> I need to go to cobblers. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, does anyone need the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> and next week, the danger club fight, their prostates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you <laughs> poor old tra- oh poor old folks. Um what what, what, Does it just start? It smells like cabbage <laughs> and farts <laughs> down here now. It's just like uh, Bubba's gone through his rations and picked out all the prunes and just hands them around. <laughs> oh, you can oh, suck prunes. them, Bubba. They don't want prunes. Oh, they they don't need prunes. prunes. That'll can, make you regular. If anything, they want mm. someone to block them up, mate, to be honest. You can suck them away. <laughs> oh, good, because I'm losing my teeth. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Lovely couple of prunes, they are. Prunes. You can suck them away. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I also oh, quite. Like, I also like the bubble went to a shop and ordered trail rations with extra prunes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I have the prune rations, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get get bunged up, do we? <laughs> yeah, it's all the nuts and the rest yeah. of the trail rations. <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> Can I <do> <laughs> uh, I don't know why I've gone off the road. <laughs> It's oh. what happens when you get oh. drained. Did you say something? 
<laughs> I don't know, did you? What? Huh? Who are you? Where have you we, we gone? Wearing a fucking eye patch. <laughs> right, come on, let's go up, up them stairs. Oh, right. it's bloody torture. Can Is I search the uh, area, please? You can, yeah, give me a perception. Look at him searching with the like. vigour of youth. <laughs> okay. Uh, you reckon I'm like a hummingbird, so you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so for a start, you reckon that there's enough supplies here if all of you hoard them back that you, yep. would, uh, you would fairly well resupply. You'll still need a few things to do the repairs on the ship, but you reckon in terms of like supplies for the voyage, there's a good amount of sort of food and water here that you could kind of, uh, you could cart back, okay. um, uh, which would be oh, useful for the journey. Um, you're also, you also find the body of the, uh, the Bodak. You search it, um, you find it has nothing on its person. Um, other than a shriveled ring on one of its fingers, um, which you <laughs> bag of prunes. it's not. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the ring is not. Uh, the ring is not magical. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a simple band. It's on. It's um. Uh, it's on its ring finger. Um, there also uh, looking also. It seems to have a rope mark around its neck. You see that there are others around its wrists. It looks like it's been bound. Uh, when you roll over, you can see that the back, see its back is scarred. It looks like it's been lashed um, several times. And there is a brand um, in its forehead, which is hard to make out now because there's an axe embedded in it. Yeah. Uh, but Ooh. kind of neatly split. In the yeah. there's, a, uh, uh, there's a symbol in it, which oh, is kind of pointed, him, jagged sort of symbol. Together. A pointed, jagged sort of symbol. That's a pointed, yeah. jagged kind of symbol. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. Society check would know what that I is. Bet right. the, I bet the Hell Knights did this. Another natural 20 yeah. of them. So. They're, they're brand oh, people, don't they? They're, in fact, aren't they the Order of the Brand or something? Uh, right? it's, uh, it's the symbol of the Order of the Chain, which was the Order of Hell Knights that um, Melictor Arcadius was from. The Did we get like a, a, like a thing about, did he tell us about the, the, the original Bodak and what it was wearing. Uh, no, he didn't. He, he just told you it was a monster that was preying on the locals. Didn't well, that's about a saying. brand in them. Uh, looks like, yes, yeah, so Hell they, Knights. They created this, probably some sort of religious persecution, but it looks fit. So mm. do you reckon the Hell Knights have got something to do with turning people into Bodaks? I think that, no, because Bodaks, if you remember correctly, are created through a traumatic, horrific death. Uh, so yeah, like Torture it, or something. Torture, yes. Like a long, drawn out old death. Well, it looks like I'd say that he was uh, he was punished, uh, sort of branded, and then hung, mm. and then probably bound and, and then, hung, and then he turned into a border, turned into a bodak. And now I think I remember watching a murder she wrote once <laughs> where there was a bodak. Uh, so, yeah. uh, so like, I like you know, they were, <laughs> through. they were calling each other traitors, weren't they? So someone ratted someone out to Hell Knights, got branded and then turned over. Ah, this is a bodak. yes, he oh, did. This he said, about she it. Yeah. turned me, I, I trusted you, she turned me over. So that yeah. might have been the bodak that we killed before. I think possibly his wife maybe turned him over to the Hell Knights and then he got done in, then came back with revenge. Let's take this ring because we can identify the person from the ring. Good thinking. Shriveled ring. Yeah, we'll take the shriveled ring. Cut it off. Actually, I that, don't think you that could used to be, be a pub I drank at, actually. The shriveled, the shriveled ring. ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, if we take all of this back, by the way, we can repair our ship and we can feed ourselves. <laughs> Master Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just get it for to a long time? Here? No, my hey. stuff belongs to town. No, no it doesn't. It's really really privately owned by the people we just murdered. We just murdered them, so it's oh, actually we've we've no, we've laid them to rest. We laid them to rest. There we go. Well, then, there's a big fucking axe in his head. I mean, he, but at least he's underground. He dumped her out the window. <laughs> to be <laughs> honest, up there. Well, I didn't want it to smell when I was having a sleep. As to be honest, we should be a bit more respectful and maybe bury these two. Well, if we oh. bury them, I think we should take their food because they're just going to spoil them. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. We'll take oh, all the food, we'll take all the rations, take all the meats. We got to meet up with the Hell Knights. Do and you we'll know where that the is? You should I probably remember have a I met a Hell Knight once. <laughs> came to f he found me close to Gavin even though I covered the tracks for it somehow. <laughs> you two should probably have a sleep. Oh, as well. sleep. Yeah, sleep. I <laughs> <with a good laughs> sleep. Should yeah, I get you some I cocoa? Do. Oh, cocoa. Cocoa. No, I don't know what cocoa is. It's a coconut. Chocolate. And there's two of them. Great. And you cut the tops off both of them and you go cocoa and drink Okay, I don't need that bit. That sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just drink the coconuts and then you can wear the coconuts. Where do you wear them? Either on your ears, on the top of your head. What's your name again? On your, on your breastplates. On your breastplates? Yeah, yeah. How many breasts do you think people have? 
well, just, you know, where I was just saying metaphorically, you know, <laughs> in, in, in Galarian. Oh, you're a good lad, you Everyone are. else, thank you very much, Dad. Happy birthday, <laughs> son. <laughs> and Mum. <laughs> All right, let's go Do you want to sleep here or do you want to sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we should let them sleep here. I think That's they've good. had a very busy day, yeah. yeah. Let's just curl up. I'll shut the trap door. We'll, we'll, we'll put the thing outside. Yes. You know, out the, in the flower bed with the other one. Yeah, yeah. We'll just yes. kick him out the it's door. It's what they would have wanted. Yeah, yeah. Together in death, buzzing <laughs> around flies and vultures swooping down. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, all right. So, what's the plan? Yeah, I think. Uh, stay here for the night. I think the night. probably need. Well, I mean, it is literally like barely it's like morning. 6 so a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 6 a.m. <laughs> Let's sleep through the day. Okay. Yeah. You. Uh, um, <laughs> Just before, I'd like Velda does a sweep of the whole buildings. Give me, just give me a perception sure, check just to, make to sure do a there's proper nothing, search of the building. Nothing else lurking Marks. about with Jim. No way, no way, we can't sleep. Oh my God, he's awake again. Yeah, I'm so, I get up in the middle of the night now. Um, we can't sleep for another day eh, because airships come round to meet us in less than a day. Where are your trousers? <laughs> you took them! <laughs> Nobody took your trousers. All right, well then the airships, the airship, the around. airship's coming back round. The airship, it took your trousers. Ah! The it airship. doesn't matter where my trousers are. We have got less than eight hours. Hush the little airship. Caragor. Bubba starts singing. Hush little caragor and Tolton okay. don't say the a airship. word. <laughs> Go to sleep while by a playing We're bed. Drowned. I'm not a bird. And drowned. I'll just get some nice rations. <laughs> some prunes for your mouth and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but what, what, what... I don't know what to do now, Velda. What, what Grampy Caragor was actually saying was quite correct. The, the airship is coming back soon. Oh, uh, Fucking what? Peak Velda. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gaslight someone when they're saying well, it. No, and no, afterwards, no, admit they were correct. No, I didn't, I didn't gaslight like you. I just didn't <laughs> intervene <laughs> to your assistance. Uh, you know, that's fine. He's a non-interventionist. All right, let's wake him up. Wake no, up! No, oh, God, wake don't. Up. Oh, oh no. trousers! We could have just left him here. Laurence Balls! I mean, he needs to rest. I married <laughs> someone called Shania. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Where do we go? We're going home. Home, I Fun remember. Home. Oh, yeah. we're going to Belkson. No, we're oh, going to the high home. home. We're, we're going to our new airship home. Who are you? Uh, my name's Bubba. <laughs> oh, are you, who I, are you? I used to be MC. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cleared things up for us. Who's simple. that over there? Oh, he's one of MC. us. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I, I am quite old, but not quite as old as you two. I seem to turn to James Mason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll gather up some stuff and we'll take it back to the All place. right. Is there well, like a uh, uh, wagon well, we can use? Uh, I, I you search around. There is there is a wagon. Um, there aren't any uh, there aren't any animals to pull it, but at least a couple of you can kind of pull. It's like a it's not a wagon. It's Come a on, kids! Post. I wonder who that's going to so be. Come on, that. kids! You um, two sleep in the back. <laughs> what <laughs> were step turns sun over here? <laughs> what were the pers- <laughs> what were the perception checks? I think it's like a Werther's originals. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, Werther. We've Werther's. suddenly got lots of Werther's. Uh, yeah. You find a lot Just of Werther's. Give me what were those perception checks to search the place? Oh, mine wasn't really. Mine was twenty. Mine was. 21. 21. Okay. Are the, are the old men going to have a crack at it? Or? Yeah, why not? Go no. On. They're okay. good at finding lost things. True. Um, Velda finds more shortbread. Oh, like, yes. there's, Down in the basement, she was stashing the really good stuff. We're taking all of the shortbread for the airship. I love shortbread. 19 plus 16 is... 35. 35. Um, Fulton, <laughs> as you're pulling up the... <gasps> as you're pulling up some more water from the well oh, to, uh, to wash your axe... Um, in the bottom of the bucket, you find a a ring that matches the uh, that matches the one that we found on the bodak. It looked like it had been tossed down the well. A simple silver band. I found another band. Ah, so she clearly threw this down there uh, after she betrayed her husband. I was uh, in a band once. <laughs> oh, <God>. I remember. <laughs> ah, you no. had spaghetti on your forehead. I did. I was a right old. Look, I Puss do it back in the no, day. Now no, no, listen here, there, Gramps, Gramps. If you if you're quiet on the journey back, there's a lovely goblin back at the airship. Will give you a nice sponge bath. Ooh. Right. So, so got, yes, you know you like a sponge bath. So I've never we go. talked about having sponge baths from goblins before in my life. Oh well, that's because you don't remember. But you you had a lovely one last week. 
Oh, good. No, As we they are start definitely gaslighting. <laughs> 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 As I start walking away from the well, Bubba would just like to stare down the well and reminisce on the time that he found a shark oh. <laughs> down the well. And he just, his claws kind of dig into the rock a little bit. Prime time stealing back if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Up, I know. Yeah. Don't I know. You look up, yeah, you see Fulton and Caragor just kind of leaning on walk, uh, like makeshift walking sticks Ooh. to kind of make the well <laughs> Bubba <laughs> walks over <laughs> to... Uh, to Caragor and says, yeah, and just puts his arm round him and then makes... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Why did we throw this possibility On in? a 30, a thievery check. A thievery check to try and go through his act. Okay. Get, well, at least one of those shots. That's going to be... That's going to be against the perception DC um, of, uh, of both Caragor. Fulton, you are there as well. Um, so... What's your perception, Maybe DC? Disadvantage gentlemen. too. <laughs> <laughs> As DC it's, second. It's just 10 plus, 10 plus your perception score, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. So minus 24. 24. Uh, 26. 26. Slips. Bubba, you feel, the, uh, you feel the sharp glass of the shard in mm -hmm. the bag. As you just pull it out and, and it disappears into your... Disappears into the folds of your clothing before either of the old folks... Uh, notice. Come on. Uh, and then you, you then you hear a trundle as you help them. You hear a trundling. <laughs> and Vel an annoyed Velda pulling a cartload <laughs> of shortbread. Exactly. Follows up. I can't carry all this shortbread all the way back on my own. You know, and, and you can't have any unless you help. Come on, you young whippersnapper. Come on, put your back into it. No, I do put my back out of it. So well, now we're your age. Oh, I was, I was doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Tell us, Gramps. <laughs> I will. As the old folks meander their way back down the road, back towards their airship for a rendezvous. That is where we leave it for tonight. Ooh. Nice. This episode was brought to you by Stephanie Muniz, our Dangerling of the Week who single-handedly defeated a Nilfgaardian vanguard on their way to ransack the kingdom of Redania. To get your name on the list of honours, go to patreon.com forward slash Danger Club Podcast. Well done, Stephanie Munitz. You are our Dangerling of the Week. <laughs>